Hey, what is up guys? I'm here from AndroidRoots.com and today we're taking a look at Pandroid Android ROM for your next 4 device. And yes, this is actually running on Android version 4.3. Um, so let's go and dive in right away and show you running on Android version 4.3 right there. Um, so right there, Android version 4.3. Boom. And we're still running on Jelly Bean, unfortunately, but uh, hopefully we'll get Key Lime Pie soon enough. Um, but let's go and talk about the Paranoid Android features that have been originally on here, maybe Pi Control, the Halo features and all that. And I actually want to show you the app privacy new feature from Cyanogen Mod that has been included in this Paranoid Android ROM. Um, that's very useful and very convenient for all the people who may install, uh, may have accidentally installed or secretly installed um, bad apps that are taking information from you. And telemarketers are stealing, you know, your phone numbers and uh, important information. This is going to be a golden um, feature from Paranoid Android and Um But let's go and uh, show you Pi Control first of all. Um, so now you got Pi Control. So you got Home, Back Navigation Bar, and of course you got your toggles right there and notifications. Let me show you that too. I don't have any, but that's where it would be. Um, so you can just, let's go and disable that for now. Um, you also have uh, the Halo heads right there. I don't have any notifications, so you can't really see anything, but that is where it would be, and you can double tap and remove it if you want. Um, now let's go ahead and dive into settings and show you that app privacy feature that is really cool and very, very useful that every RAM should really have. So let's go and demo AirDroid, which I already uh, demoed it before, or I, I was actually testing it out. Um, so we're going to select on AirDroid. Um, I can actually limit the amount of things it can actually access on my device. So let's say I don't want to access my location. I don't have to. You know, I don't have to let it do that. Um, maybe I don't want it to send SMS and MMS. I don't have to. Maybe I don't want to read my call log or modify my call log. I don't really have to. I can remove everything. And now we can't. This app cannot be functional. It cannot access any anything important from my device. So that's very cool and very useful for any of you guys who are maybe a little paranoid on um, apps taking your inf important information or anything like that. Very, very useful for you guys. Um, and you can do this for any application really, phone, settings really, um, any application you have installed, you can do it very, very easily to do um, and very basic. Um, let's go into toolbars and you have, of course you have your basic customizations. I'm not really going to go into here as probably you guys know how it functions and seen it earlier. Um, lock screen, you have allow rotation, so I'll show you that really quickly. You can do background and all that. So you can allow rotation and all that. And if I didn't mention that earlier, you can use this as a daily driver. Uh, no problems whatsoever. Only maybe a few bugs here and there. I haven't experienced any, but there's probably some hidden that I really haven't seen. Um, but this can definitely use as a daily driver. Everything, all the basic, all the you know moderate uh, features are uh, you know usable. All these features work just out of the box. Um, you also got shortcuts if you want to add it, so we can add AirDroid if we want, okay? And now we should have that shortcut on our lock screen, and there we go. So now we have it. Let's go back out of that, and go back out of that. Okay, we'll exit that, and there you go. And now let's go into cool stuff, hybrid properties. And this is where you can actually change your phone to a stock UI, which it is right now. Phablet or a tablet UI, three options. Um, first, I'll show you uh, Paranoid Android Colors, so I'll show you that. Um, so I'll show you on Google Play Store. Um, so right now, as you can see, uh, Paranoid Android is active. So you can see the status bar and the navigation bars right here have actually changed colors. And let's say if I go into AirDroid, which you've seen earlier, it changes to green, which is really cool. As you can see, it does change green. And you can change those options right here. So it comes right here. And you can change the size and layout, color. Um, you can do automatic color if you want. So I turned it on. And now it should work. It should be right there. It's already going to be the same. So it's already green now. Um, so that's very cool. Um, so it does it for just about any app, I believe. Um, let's go and see if it does it for... Let's choose YouTube. It should change red. And yes, it did. So it did change red. And of course, if you want to change the color of it, so I can do that. And then I can go to color. And maybe I want to change the navigation bar color. I can change it to maybe green if I want. Boom. Apply. And now my navigation bar is going to be green. Um, so that's a nice feature that you get from Paranoid Android. Um, as, as far as I've seen, I really haven't seen it on any of the ROM um, that I can remember of. Um, let's go and take a look at the last feature I want to show you for today as this video is getting a little bit long. Um, but let me go and show you Fablet UI and apply it. So it actually apply these DPI settings and all that. Um, so I'll apply it and let's see how it turns out. And um, oh, I guess you don't need a reboot. So that's very cool. Now I'll show you that. So as you can see, it looks pretty normal. 
A couple things that you can notice is the navigation bars are smaller, uh, the time and status bar are smaller. If you go and push down, boom, yeah, you get a nice smaller uh, look of uh, your status bar and navigation bar. And let's go and uh, show you the tablet now. And that's going to probably be, you're probably going to be really surprised if this is your first time actually uh, watching uh, Piano Android ROM review. Um, it's going to be very cool. And you guys are going to really enjoy it. <laughs> All right, so it's applied, super user access. And boom, as you can see, everything's at the bottom. All your navigation bars are at the bottom and your status bars at the bottom. You slide up to actually access all your notifications and all that too. Of course, it's a lot smaller. <laughs> it may be um, better on a Note phone or something like that. But you can still access your toggles and all the other great stuff and go into settings. And boom. So that is all the features and really want to show you guys. Um, I just want to show you guys this is stable. All the features are working on Android version 4.3. And this is officially from Piano Android, not a port, not a beta or anything. This can definitely be used as a daily driver. And if you guys in did enjoy this ROM review, be sure to subscribe and like this video in the bottom left hand corner right there. Only two clicks away to make my day to subscribe and like this video. I really do appreciate it. And links down below for actually downloading this ROM. Just click on the one link down below that I'll bring to my article where you can actually download it and get a, get a little bit of a more description on this ROM for your next for device. Thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you later. Peace.